I've been making content about capsule wardrobes ever since 2016 and I've learned so much along the way. It's been six years, so I thought it was about time for an updated guide. So here you go, a short and sweet guide on how to build a successful capsule wardrobe in 2022. Capsule wardrobe is a term used in American publications as early as the 1940s to denote a small collection of garments designed to be worn together, which harmonized in color and line. So I first became aware of the capsule wardrobe system in 2015 and I learned about it through Caroline Joy, who's the author of the blog on Fancy. She wrote all about this way of building your wardrobe based on slow fashion principles and right away I was intrigued to try it out myself. I was working as a design assistant in the commercial fashion industry at the time and I was fed up even just a few years after graduating and getting my first real job. I knew pretty early on in my heart that this wasn't how I saw myself contributing to the fashion industry. I watched documentaries like The True Cost and Minimalism and that combined with my own experience in the fashion industry was it for me. So trying a capsule wardrobe and decluttering our home started out as a personal experiment. I was on a journey to free myself from excess stuff and I taught myself the art of limitation. And slowly, as I started making peace with my wardrobe, I also started making peace with myself and my life, basically. I know it sounds so cliche, but it really is the truth. So it's my mission today to help you guys discover that you can do that too without it happening at the expense of everything that makes fashion and style the amazingly fun and creative universe that it is. The term has come to refer to a collection of clothing that is composed of interchangeable items only to maximize the number of outfits that can be created. A capsule wardrobe in its original sense is a collection or a capsule as the name refers to with versatile clothes and shoes that you can adjust from season to season and that you love wearing. So during winter you might wear knitwear and heavy wool coats and in the summertime you wear more shorts and dresses. The essence is to store away the items that don't fit the season that you're in so that you only ever have items you're actually able to wear in your wardrobe. Then when the seasons change, you get to shop your good old favorites. Clever, right? You can also use the capsule wardrobe system to simply take a break from certain items, store them away for a little while, dig them back out and then fall in love with them all over again. So it's individual how many items you end up with and the specific amount is not the most important thing. It's way more important that there's a coherence between the contents of your wardrobe and then the lifestyle that you have. It's also a huge misunderstanding that a capsule wardrobe has to be kept neutral and classic. Anyone, regardless of their style, personality and personal taste can benefit from having a capsule wardrobe as it's simply a way to streamline your wardrobe and style more. So your clothing should suit your current style in life and most of it should be easy for you to dress up or down to maximize the number of outfits you can create even when owning less. Usually my capsule wardrobes consist of around 25 year-round basics and then I tend to add around 10 different pieces that are determined by the seasons just to make my basics feel fresh and appropriate for the weather and my mood. So the seasonal pieces are mostly older pieces that I've had in my storage, but sometimes I will also add a new piece here and there. So what doesn't count in a capsule wardrobe? Basic tank tops, underwear, socks, bags, accessories, jewelry, workout clothes, practical clothes that you will wear when you're gardening, for example. It probably sounds like a lot of items, but you can definitely make smaller capsule collections of these items too, if that makes sense to you. There's not really any real rules here. I think that you should always just do what feels right for you. So what does actually count in your capsule wardrobe? Well, everything besides the pieces that I just mentioned that doesn't count. So that would be jackets, trousers, jeans, shoes, shirts, blouses, dresses, skirts, etc. Items that make the core of your everyday style and the overall expression. So why should you build a capsule wardrobe? Fast fashion is a term used to describe a highly profitable business model based on replicating catwalk trends and high fashion designs and mass producing them at a low cost. Fast fashion has a huge environmental footprint, both in terms of production and disposal. 
It requires a large amount of energy and often non-renewable resources to produce textiles, and it depends on toxic fabric dyes and other chemicals that contaminate fresh water. The speed this type of clothing is produced at means that more and more clothing is discarded as well, which has led to enormous amounts of textile waste. Not to mention the human cost. Fast fashion is able to be affordable because it relies on the exploitation and mistreatment of garment workers in low-income countries. Now, I am all for progress, not perfection here. I'm not perfect either. Ethical fashion is, sadly, I'm tempted to say, because really it should be the only way we produce garments. But it is still a rather complex topic and also one that fast fashion brands are trying to benefit from by making eco-friendly capsule collections, while of course maintaining their business as usual model on the side. So there can be many reasons why we're not always able to support smaller ethical brands. It could be a limited budget, a lack of representation, sizes for example, that's a huge problem. Maybe you can't find the specific style that you actually like. Um, so in the words of Maya Angelou, do your best until you know better, and then when you know better, try to do better. The most sustainable piece of clothing is the one that you already have in your wardrobe. So bottom line is that we all need to use what we have more actively and make more long-term investment when it comes to buying new clothes. You can actually dress yourself to more well-being and more confidence with a capsule wardrobe. Your wardrobe will become a source of daily inspiration. It will be full of clothes that make you excited to step out, live your life and do your thing. So no more I have nothing to wear because with a capsule wardrobe you will always have something to wear. I'm running out of reasons why you shouldn't try one out. So how do you actually build a capsule wardrobe? Start by emptying your entire wardrobe. Take everything out and give your wardrobe a deep clean for a fresh start. After that, you start dividing your clothes into the following piles. Yes, no, which you then donate, recycle or sell later. Maybe, to be repaired or altered. Items that are out of season. So once you've divided your clothes into the different piles, it's time to get your basics sorted. So personally, I like keeping my year-round basics, which is the core of my wardrobe, pretty static. That doesn't mean that I can't ever change it as my life and taste naturally changes over time, my body might change, but it roughly stays the same. So my personal basics are made up of things like jeans, t-shirts, classic shirts and blazers because that's what I tend to wear the most. But keep in mind that your basics might look completely different in both shape, cut and color. It all depends on what you like wearing what your lifestyle is and what your job requires. After that, it's time to get your seasonal sorted. So that means that you store away any items that are out of season and only keep out what you can actually wear right now, both weather-wise, but also just what you're in the mood for wearing. So this will leave out the visual noise because you don't have to worry about any items that you might not be able to wear right now. Everything will be ready to style up, making getting dressed in the morning a lot more enjoyable and a lot more calm. Once you're done, it's time to put everything back into your wardrobe and start enjoying the fruit of your work and the process it will be to work with your style this way moving forward. So this is a capsule wardrobe in a nutshell, but of course the journey probably won't be as straightforward for most people. A capsule wardrobe only really works if it's tailor-made to you and for that you do need a more of a 360 degree approach than just resetting and, and decluttering your wardrobe. You might have trouble determining what your style personality is. You might have trouble finding a color palette that flatters you or simply just finding those key stables that you can hold on to for years. If that's the case, then do make sure to go check out my online masterclass to receive step-by-step -step guidance from start to finish and to make sure that you'll benefit fully from structuring your wardrobe this way. So thank you all so much for watching. Do remember to subscribe for more inspiration on how to increase your style confidence and do more with less. With that, have a lovely day and I will see you all very soon with another video. Bye guys.